Persze a mai napon egy kicsit, kicsit sima tirádrányról fogunk beszélni, mert ez az ő megjelenési napja. De olyan, look at my own qualification for speaking on such elevated topics as this. I rightfully so feel I'm qualified to do so. De ehhez meg kell nézni a saját tisztesítettségemet arra, hogy beszéljek sima tirádrányról, amire azt hiszem, hogy ez nem elegendő. Who am I to speak about the glories of Shima Tiradharani? Beszélni Shima Tiradharani. If Krishna is so difficult to understand, just imagine how difficult it is to understand Radharani. If Krishna is so difficult to understand, how difficult it is to understand Radharani. And as we know, unless one gets a drop of mercy from Krishna's lotus feet, we can never understand Krishna's greatness. És tudjuk, hogy addig, ameddig meg nem kapjuk Krishna-nak a lótuszlávának a nektárjának egy cseppét, addig nem leszünk képes megérteni őt. So, uh, what to speak of? There's a few uh, residents of this car, and I'm going to let them go someplace else. <laughs> what to speak of? Uh, understanding. But we do know that she is the embodiment of mercy and compassion. It is one of her qualities. It's, she is uh, Krishna's compassion personified. Because uh, she has Krishna under her control. And she can claim possession of Krishna. She can say Krishna is mine. So anyone who could say Krishna is mine has the power to give Krishna to others. And there's nobody who can stake a claim that Krishna is mine more than Srimati Radharani. She knows how to please Krishna better than anyone. So first she turned the church and meets her. Govinda Nandini, Radha Govinda Mohini, Govinda Sarvasva Sarvakanta Shilamani. That Radha, she is the one, she is the one who completes Krishna. Chaitanya Charitamrita Gona is a person who is a person who is a person who is a person. And she is the one who completely enchants Krishna. She is the be all and end all of Govinda. And she is the crest jewel of all of Krishna's consorts. So because she has the capacity to serve Krishna and the greatest way, which is most pleasing to him. Then, if we have any hope of doing something that would be pleasing to Krishna, an intelligent person would be thinking, let me try to get Shimati Radharani's attention. Let me do something that will assist her in pleasing Krishna. Because who am I to please Krishna? I remember to all Krishna Maharaj, I think it was told the story about the Prabhupada was looking at a painting of the gopis. 
Prabhupada had said, these are the first three, and I'm going to go them. It was for a new publication, I think it was for a German publication. Ez egy új kiadás volt, azt hiszem egy német kiadás. Prabhupada was looking at the picture, and he was expressing how pleased he was with this picture. Prabhupada nézte ezt a képet, és kifejezte, hogy milyen elégedett látni ezt a képet. It was a picture of all the gopis standing in the background. Ezen a képen a mindegyik gopi a háttérben állt. And they were all pushing Radha Rani forward. És mindannyian tolták előre Radha Rani. And Prabhupada says, yes, this is very nice. Prabhupada azt mondta, hogy igen, ez nagyon szép. This is how the devotee thinks of how to, to push others forward. Now the gopis, they never want to actually even Many of them don't even want to be directly connected with Krishna. Their greatest happiness is connecting with Krishna. And if they can stand in the, always be in the background doing this, they have no greater pleasure in, than this. És hogyha ott állhatnak a háttérben, amíg ez történik, akkor ebből a legnagyobb boldogságot megyünk. És Prabhupád azt mondta, hogy igen, ez egy Brahmánik a hangulatban. Nagyon elégedett volt, és azt mondta, hogy a háttérben kell maradnunk, és kell másokat előre tolnunk, hogy ők szolgálhassák is meg. Radharani is so merciful, so magnanimous. Radharani is only a kid, he's only a child. That she gets the pleasure ten million times greater by making all these different arrangements to bring the gopis to Krishna. But it is not just a matter of God or Shankar Mani that God, but the arrangements that she gets are the ones that the gopis, that Krishna will accept. Then her, being herself, present, personally present with Krishna. Mi az, amikor ő személyesen van egy Krishnával? So, just consider how magnanimous she is. Csak képzeljétek el, hogy mennyire legyen közel. And just consider how could Radharani get the pleasure ten million times greater than being directly with Krishna unless Krishna was pleased. És képzeljétek el, hogy hogy van ez, hogy Simati Rádvári tíz milliószor nagy boldogságot merít abból, hogy másokat az össze Kisnával, mint amikor ő van ott Kisnával. So this is how magnanimous Radharani is, is that all the gopis always want to stay in the background and bring Radharani to Krishna, because she knows how to please Krishna best. És meg erre ennyire legyűködsz, hogy a gopik mindig próbálja őt előre tolni, hogy ő legyen Kisnával, mert ő tudja a legjobban, hogy hogyan lehet elégedett. And she definitely pleases Krishna best, but she pleases Krishna even more by making all these different arrangements to have the gopis meet with Krishna too. És kétségtelen, hogy ő az, aki legelégedett képzét tudja tenni Krishna, de mégis még elégedettebb akkor, amikor elrendezéseket tehet arra, hogy ezek a másik gopik találkozhassan a Krishna-val. And therefore, she is most merciful in this way and very compassionate. És így módon ő a legkedvesebb, és nagyon könyörületes. Robert says, I was just looking before I came. Robert says in the, I think it's in the nectar of devotion about compassion. Robert mondja az odadás nektárjában, a könyörületességben. He's talking about Krishna's compassion. Krishna-nek a könyörületességéről beszél. And he said how Krishna's compassion was manifest, was exhibited, Before Bhishma Dev, Charu Basen and Krishna had a good relationship. How did Nirvana meet me? When Bhishma Dev was there, when Bhishma was lying on his bed of arrows, when Bhishma was kneeling on the ground, and Krishna forgot his own position. Krishna had forgotten his own position. He was so eager to come before Bhishma Dev in his presence. He just completely. Forgot his own position as the Supreme Lord and hastily went to be before him as he was passing from this world. 
annyira magó volt arra, hogy az sem ismerélve, hogy teljesen elfeledkezett arról, hogy ő az Istenségnek felsőbb személyisége, és csak arra vágyott, hogy az sem ismerélve. De hogy Krishna saw Bishma's pitiable condition, he began to speak with tears in his eyes. És amikor Krishna látta a Bishma dép számára a méltó helyzetét, akkor könnyekkel a szemében beszélni kezdett. De Prabhupát szóz, hogy ő is a felsőségnek és Prabhupád azt mondja, hogy a könyvetessége miatt is feledkezett elég magára. He says, therefore, instead of offering obeisances to Krishna directly, the one is offering obeisances to his compassionate nature. És azt mondja, hogy ezért a bakták ahelyett, hogy közvetlenül Krishna-nak ajánlanak a hódolatokat, Krishna könyvetes természetének ajánlják azt. Actually, because Krishna is the supreme personality of God, it is very difficult to approach him. Mivel Krishna az Istenség legfelsőbb személyisége, ezért valójában nagyon nehéz megközelíteni. But the devotees taking advantage of his compassionate nature. De hogyha a bakták kihasználják az ő könyvetes természetét, which is represented by Radharani, amelyet Simati Radharani képvisel, always pray to Radharani for Krishna's compassion. Mindig imádkozzatok a Simati Radharani-hoz Krishna könyvetességéért. So Prabhupada is explaining that Radharani is actually the representative of Krishna's compassion. And therefore, if we are thinking that we want to do something that is pleasing to Krishna and give something to Krishna, és ugye úgy gondoljuk, hogy csinálunk valamit, ami elégedetik lesz a Krishnát, amit adunk valami Krishnának, then it is considered to be better to go to Radharani and give it to her and say, can you please recommend me to Krishna? Akkor az sokkal jobb, hogy oda megyünk Radharani-hoz, és odaadjuk neki, és azt mondjuk, hogy kérlek, bárjára, mert engem Krishnán. Because if Radharani recommends to Krishna, Krishna can't. Mert ha valakit Simati Rádrán jár Krishna-nek, akkor Krishna nem tudja elutasítani, visszajutasítani. Ő az, az aki kontrollálja Krishna-nek. Hogyan tudna bárkit is visszautasítani, akit Rádrán jól jár? Just like Krishna says, if you offer the leaf flower fruit and water with love and devotion, I will accept. Mint ahogy Krishna mondja, hogyha ajánlasz nekem egy kis vizet, virágot, levelet szeretettel, akkor én azt elfogadom. But if you give a flower, Leave to Radharani and say, "Can you please offer this to Krishna?" And the folks are very happy. They 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 are very happy. Prabhupada also says something very wonderful about Radharani, which I'll repeat here and I'll end so that Jami Mali Maharaj can also speak. Because I think we're supposed to end by 11. <laughs> Prabhupada, on, on Radhasthami day, he was giving a lecture about Radharani. So he says, so our today prayer to Radharani, we pray to Radharani because she is the pleasure potency of Krishna. She is the personification of Krishna's pleasure potency. Ön Krishna gyönyör adó energiájának a megjelenése. So Krishna has three primary potencies, he has the Sat, Chit and Ananda. Krishna-nak három elsődleges potenciája van, a Sat, Chit és az Ananda. Or he has Sandini potency, he has Sandini potency and his Ladini potency. Vagy pedig a Sandini, a Sandit és a Ladini energia. And we often times say that the Sat is this aspect of eternal eternality. A szat energia ez az örökké valóság, mint az energiája. And the personification of this Sandini potency, of course, is Lord Balaram. És a Sandini energiának a megtestesülése az Lord Balaram. Lord Balaram actually creates all the different varieties of the spiritual world. Az Lord Balaram az, aki a világ világ változatosságát teremti. 
And whatever is created, of course, there is some form. És persze bármi, amit megteremtenek, annak van valami formája. And as Ziga said, the Krishna's form is coming from Balaram. És ez, ezért, mint Krishna-nak a formája is Balaram. All the form and all the varieties of the spiritual world are manifest by Balaram, who assists the Lord in this way. A lelki világ minden változatosságát és formáját az Úr Balaram nyilvánítja meg, aki így módon szolgálja Krishna-t. And therefore he is the personification of this Sandini potency sample. És azért így a kő a szándéni energiának a megtestesülése. And then the sambit potency is knowledge. A sambit energia ez a tudás. Sat, chit, knowledge. And uh, yes, yes. am I doing? Is that something wrong? Well, I, I just want. Okay, it's very <laughs> conscientious. Uh-huh. It's okay. Okay. He's, I don't see he's here. No, no, it's okay. When you looked in, I thought, uh-oh. <laughs> okay. 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 See, I'm not fully cognizant, obviously. I'm, I'm, I'm very much in need of this chit potency. <laughs> so, the personification of the chit potency is Krishna himself. <laughs> Another manifestation of knowledge is in the spiritual world is to know who we are and what is our relationship with Krishna. It's called Sambandha. Sambandha means to know what is my relationship with Krishna. But this some bit potency in the spiritual world, the devotees, all they know is Krishna is my friend. Balaram thinks Krishna is my brother. Yasoda, she thinks Krishna is my son. Yasoda, we want to go Krishna and we are Krishna. That is their full manifestation, perfect manifestation of the Sanvit potency. Ez az ő számít energiájuk, ez az ő tökéletes, ez az ő számunkra számít energia tökéletes megnyilvánulása. The knowledge is complete. És ez így teljes. They don't need to know anything else. Nem kell tudni ők semmi más. They don't even know how great they are. Azt se kell tudni, hogy ők maguk milyen nagyok. They don't even know how happy they are. Azt se kell tudni, hogy mennyire boldogok. All they know is their ecstasy in knowing Krishna, that's all. He's my friend. Lover, my son. And in fact, their knowledge is considered to be the highest knowledge. The highest knowledge is called Jnana-sunya. No Jnana-sunya means? Zero knowledge. Huh? Zero knowledge. Zero knowledge. Yeah. Yeah. The highest knowledge is that they have no knowledge. That's the highest. Is that 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 the highest. Is the Getting attaining knowledge for sense perception. And that is receiving knowledge through hearing. And then there's the knowledge that's received through realization. 
Aztán ott van, hogy első, amit a megvalósításon keresztül szerzünk. And then there's a platform called the Hoxinja. It's the knowledge which is understanding the, the expanse of the spiritual world. Aztán ott van az a szint, amit úgy hívnak, hogy a Hoxinja, a lelki kiterjedésnek a megértése. That knowledge which is, we have to be, we can't demand it, we have to just pray that it will come. Az a tudás, amit nem tudunk kikövetelni, hanem csak imádkozni tudunk, hogy egy nap ne eljöjjön. We can't obtain that, that hoax that you buy, mental speculation. Ezt az adhoax sajtát nem tudjuk eljönni elmondani spekulációval. Neither can we force it to manifest, to be revealed in our hearts. Se nem tudjuk kikényszeríteni, hogy ez megnyilvánuljon a szívünkben. It is manifest only by divine mercy. Ez kizárólag az Isteni kegyen keresztül fog megnyilvánulni. And therefore we can only pray to qualify for that mercy. És ezért csak imádkozni tudunk, hogy legyünk képesítettek erre a kegyre. To be able to understand the expanse of the spiritual world. Hogy képesek legyünk megérteni a lelki világ kiterjedését. But that's not the highest. De ez nem a legmagasabb. There's another platform which is even higher. Van egy másik szint, ami ennél magasabb. They call Kevla amit úgy hívnak, hogy kéval. Vagy Gyánaszonya. It means to have no knowledge. Ami azt jelenti, hogy nincs tudás. The ability to be devoid of knowledge of Krishna's Aishvaya, or his opulences. Hogy teljesen figyelmek kívül hagyják Krishna Aishvaya, vagy a fenséges potenciáját. To not know that Krishna is God. Nem tudják, hogy Krishna is Isten. And to even hear it suggested is it studied. Még hogyha hallják is, hogy valaki erről beszél, akkor így elutasítják. When Uruga tried to suggest to Nanda Maharaj about the glories of his son, when Uruga tried to suggest to Nanda Maharaj about the glories of his son, amikor Uruga próbálta ezt említeni Nanda Maharajnak, hogy milyen dicsőséges a fia, Nanda Maharaj really objected. Nanda Maharaj teljesen elutasította. He said, what are you trying to say? My son is God. Azt mondta, hogy miről beszélsz? Azt mondod, hogy a fiam az Isten. Mit van ezt tovább? Hogyan lehetne ő Isten? Minden reggel hozzá a fején a cipőmet. Hogy mondhatsz ért, hogy ő Isten? Isten ő a legfelsőbb abszolút igazság. I've never seen anybody who lies better than my son. Any chance that I'll come up here with a bit of a fear? Maybe the jinx. Hey, you should never touch it, doctor. You, and you just do it. Are you trying to make me feel better by telling me how great a son I have? És akkor mondta, hogy már nekem most azt hiszem, hogy egy jobban érzem magam, hogy erről beszélsz, hogy milyen nagyszerű a fiam. You make me miserable. Mindig csak problémákat okoz. All I know is he's my son. Én csak annyit tudok, hogy ő a fiam. And I miss him. És nagyon hiányzik. Where did he go? Hová ment? Does he remember his parents? Nem is emlékszik már a szüleire. Wherever I go, all I see is my son. Akárhova elmentek, én csak a fiamat látom. I leave the house trying to forget about it, but I see the forest, I see the pasturing grounds, I see the cows. All I see is my son. Kimegyek a házból, hogy emlékezzek rá, de ahogy meglátom a legelőket, az erdőt, a teheneket, akkor mindegyikük a fiamra emlékeztet. This is what Nanda Maharaj knows. Nanda Maharaj ennyit tud. All he needs to know. Ennyit kell tudnia. Jánosanya. Jánosanya. He knows nothing about Krishna's opulences. Semmit sem tud Krishna felségéről. All he knows is Krishna's myself. Annyit tud, hogy Krishna a fiam. So this is the some bit potency. Ez a számít energia. This is the most complete. És ez így a teljesen teljes. Ez a tudás, ami van. And Radha Rani, she is the personification of Krishna's loving potency. És Radha Rani, ő a Krishna loving potenciájának a megtestesítője. When Krishna wants to enjoy, amikor Krishna szeretne élvezni. Because Prabhupada always explains when we use this word when, it's, it could be quite confusing. Because as soon as we say when, it suggests there's some beginning point. What do you mean when Krishna wants to do it? 
Never, sir, never is time when he's not enjoying it. So how do you say when Krishna wants to enjoy it? Nobody has to say it. But please try to understand. Krishna is always enjoying it. And when Krishna enjoys it. <laughs> He doesn't, he can't enjoy anything in this material world. There's nothing in this world that's attractive to him. When he comes to this world, he's not attracted to anything in this world. Who are we speaking the other day? Oh, it's here. <laughs> We were telling in class the other morning. And what Prabhupada had said that when Krishna comes to deliver the sadhus, he's quoting the verse Paratranaya Sadhunam Vinasya Chattasata. And when Krishna comes to deliver the sadhus, he says actually he doesn't come to deliver the sadhus. Ezt a versét idéztük, és akkor itt mondtam, hogy amikor Krishna eljön, felszabadítsa a szádukat, ő igazából nem azért jön, hogy felszabadítsa a szádukat. Ez azért, mert a szádukról már úgy is fel vannak szabadulva. És elmagyarázza, hogy ki egy szádu. A szádu nem csak egy moralist. Egy szádu nem egy világi elkölcsös ember. Ez a szádu egy devoti. Egy szádu egy bakta. And the devotee is Sagunan Samati Kaitan. The devotee is above the modes of material nature. He's not in the modes of material nature. He's already transcendental. So, how can we say that Krishna is coming to deliver the sadhus? These the sadhus are already delivered. So how can we say that Krishna is coming to deliver the sadhus? These the sadhus are already delivered. So how can we say that Krishna is coming to deliver the sadhus? He says, therefore, when Krishna comes, he has, he's coming for some inner purpose. He says he wants to satisfy the innermost desires of his devotees. He wants to allow himself to be seen. And therefore, he comes for that purpose. Because the devotees' hearts are already completely pure. Therefore, when Krishna comes, he comes not because he has any interest in this material world. Because there's nothing material that can attract him. Only his devotee. And therefore, what greater devotee can attract Krishna than than Maharani? <coughs> so, <coughs> therefore, uh, she is the personification of Krishna's pleasure potency. And therefore, Prabhupada is saying here we pray to Radharani because she is the pleasure potency of Krishna. Krishna means all attractive. Radharani is so great that she attracts Krishna. Krishna is all attractive. And she is attractive, attractor of Krishna. So what is the position of Shrimati Radharani? We should try to understand this day and offer obeisances to Radharani. Tapta Kanchana Gorangi Radhe Vindavanesha Vishwabhara Suti Devi Pranamahi Our business is 
Radharani, you were so dear to Krishna. So we offer a respectful obeisance unto you. I offer my respects to Radharani, whose bodily complexion is like molten gold. And who is the queen of Vrindavan? You are the daughter of King Vishwabhana. Radha Rani is Hari Priya. Very dear to Krishna. So if we approach Krishna through Radha Rani, through the mercy of Radha Rani, then it becomes very easy. If Radha Rani recommends, this devotee is very nice. Then Krishna immediately accepts. However fool I may be. That's the part that really... <laughs> I, mean, I had to lead up to that point. <laughs> you know, because we always think, you know, like, wow, you know, like, I gave me something pretty great for Radharani. <laughs> it's a saying, no, however much of a fool I may be, that is her magnanimity. She's the topmost Mahabhagavata. She thinks everyone is serving Krishna except herself. So, even if I'm the greatest fool, even if I have no qualification, if somehow we can just make an appeal to her, pray for her mercy, do something, something, anything that could possibly please her. She's not going to recognize us by some external show. These things don't attract her. But if you actually want to do something to assist her in pleasing Krishna, de hogyha szeretnétek segíteni, szeretnétek segíteni őt, hogy elégedetek egy Krisnát, akkor a, a csodálatossága meg fog nyilvánulni. Akkor teljesen ki fog nyitni. And of course, as we understand, the best manifestation of her mercy to break open that magnanimity is why she comes and appears as Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. És persze tudjuk, hogy az ő kegyességét és csodálatosságát a legkönnyebben abban a formában tudjuk kinyitni, vagy hozzájutni, amit az Úr, ami az Úr csétene már himself? Aki Krishna maga. Elfogadta Dárhárinak a bárványát, a hangulatát. So Prabhupád is explaining this point here. Prabhupád elmagyarázza ezt itt. He says, however fool I may be, that if we try to catch Radharani's mercy, it comes very easy. Therefore, Prabhupada says, in Vrindavan you'll find all the devotees, they're chanting more Radharani's name than Krishna's name. Wherever you go, you'll find the devotees addressing Jai Rade. You'll find still in Vrindavan. They're glorifying Radharani. They're more interested in worshipping Radharani. Because however fallen I may be, if some way or other, I can please Radharani. 
hogyha bárhogy is, de elégedetté tudok tenni rátalálni, akkor nagyon könnyű lesz a számomra, hogy megértsem Kisnát. So we should meditate about running in this way. És így simát irányítani, így módon kell meditálni. We should meditate on her mercy and her magnanimity and her compassion. Kell meditálnunk a kedvén, a csodálatosságén és a könyörögtességén. And her mood. És a hangulatán. Her mood is that we bring others forward. És a hangulata az az, hogy hogy menjenek mások előre, ők menjenek Kisnát. Go see part of the Kamala Yoga Sutra. Ez a hangulat, hogy másokat tolerére, és tízmilliószor nagyobb boldogságot tapasztal ebből, mint hogyha ő maga meg is mentek. Ez az, ahogy kell értenünk simát rádani. Ez nem egy olcsó dolog. Nem lehet, hogy csak oda mész rázod a kezedet, felemeled a kezed. You want to get her attention and understand her mood. Hanem akkor tudod felhívni magadra a figyelmét, hogyha megérted a hangulatát. Let others go. Hagyd, hogy mások menjenek. Let me stay behind. És maradj a háttérben. Let me bring them forward. Hagyd menjenek ők előre. Let me please her and stay even farther behind. Hagyd tegyék ők elégedetté, és akkor így menjenek tovább. She knows. És akkor ő fogja tudni. Ő fel fog ismerni. És fogja adni a kegyét. És ezen a kedvező napon erre emlékeztek. Hogy emlékezünk az ő csodálatosságára és a könyörületességére. És a kegyére. Hogy még egy képesítetlen ostoba, Let me remember something about Radharani. Ő is tud emlékezni, vagy mondani valamit Simát Radharani-ról. Oké. Ez a dobára kolak. Köszönöm szépen. Köszönöm szépen. Köszönöm szépen.